Hello viewers, welcome back to the Multi Magic channel again. Before we dive into the today's content, I would like to thank all the viewers and subscribers who have been encouraging us so far in our journey. The last 2 to 3 weeks have been really exciting and amazing for our team. I hope the same affection and encouragement will be shown on us for the rest of our journey. On that note, let's quickly re recap what happened in the last video. In the last video, we have seen how to design a simple MFC application for Windows to convert an MP4 file to an MP3 file and we have also seen how to resolve the FFMP dependencies and link it and finally run the MFC application. So as you have as you have noticed here, we are the product is scattered to multiple platforms like Ubuntu, Android, Windows, and in future we will be expanding this to iOS and MacBook also. Apart from this, the product itself will be grow rich in futures. Uh, currently, we are only supporting conversion, but down the line we will be adding more features like compression, resize. Muxing, demuxing, filtering, like all the typical media applications that will come across in our day to day life. So, considering all these complexities, uh, as a team, we have decided to dive in our noses into the software design aspects such that we can maintain our code easily and the code can be easily extendable, self sustained. And uh, if, if you want to add any new features, you can do it in a much simpler way rather than changing the entire code every time, reiterating the code every time. So before we go to the design, so let's see typically what is a software design. So a software design concepts comprise of a lot of blocks like modularity, architecture, refinement, patterns, information hiding, refactoring, abstraction. So modularity means it will be uh, it we will be dividing the entire process into multiple blocks and then such that we can know the input and outputs for the each block and we can control the process very smoothly and of course architecture is pretty much important to get the high level flow and also we can follow diff different design patterns in the back for the back end like C++ uh, we have different patterns like observer singleton strategy like that and also we can hide a lot of information such that the client knows only the useful information and also we can refactor so this is i do i don't want to dive deep into this software design concepts but i just want to give you a high level overview what is about this so next so knowing about the software design concepts so let's see how is the current source code for us so as you can see here our source code currently is in a single file uh, which is which will not help us in the coming days to maintain this code so uh, our mentors have given us a design such that uh, we can follow this design like a modular approach so the entire process is divided into modules so first we'll get first will be a user will be providing the command line arguments so this is in case of ubuntu but in case of Android from the GUI application, you will be getting the inputs. And in case of MFC, you also will be coming from UI application. So the arguments can come from different things. The arguments can be the file you want to select and uh, what type of functionality you want to do, conversion, compression, and what kind of uh, file format you need, like output file format, MP3, AAC, MKV, like different things. So all those options you can give here, and then it will pass to the main block. So the main block will validate all your uh, parameters and we will be checking what are all the para kind of things we will be supporting and if the parameters are wrong we will be just exiting from this main block and then we tell like uh, no, uh, commands are wrongly passed. So if all the commands, uh, if all the arguments are correct then we will go to this main called process block. So this process block will have a translator this translator will convert these input arguments into an understandable FFmpeg specs so typically for any FFmpeg thing we need video codec audio codec and we need uh, sample rate bit rate so a lot of other lot of uh, controlling parameters we need for the conversion 
so once the translations happen and we got the spec here so we start uh, decoding so we decode the video we decode the audio and that video we convert into raw and audio to raw and again we encode audio into the format whatever you needed and we can encode the audio here then finally we combine this audio frames and video frames as a packet and these packets we can write it to file and we can see it over the network so a lot of other things we can do so this is the high level design document yeah for sim as we are a small team so we just simply put it in the paper but moving ahead we'll try to maintain a document and let's also see about the hld so H high level design document is just the overview of the process lld is like from code point of view how you achieve this so we have discussed this is uh, i mean there is no uml diagrams but we just i just want to quickly go through the overview of it like what are the inputs we'll be passing so uh, inputs like f i for f is for what kind of function you need it zero is for one none one is for conversion two is for compression and there are a lot of ffx constants we need to take care like codec id output channel speed rate and also we need to maintain a lot of structures to handle the data this is one step called metadata which has function type input file string type video codec audio codec so a lot of uh, structures we need to maintain so so we have gone through hld we have gone through the lld i know this will be a, a bit uh, uh, time taking to understand this lld but don't worry this is just uh, giving you the approach we are following this is uh, like how to come up with a modular approach using HLD and LLD. So now let's see how this single source code, how we have breakdown into classes and modules using this uh, whatever design concepts we discussed. So as you can see here, so this is our main function. So earlier you have seen we have very big single file, which is a lot of things and messy. So now it is much simpler and cleaner here. So all we do is we just for the main function, we pass the command line arguments and then the parser comes into the picture, it, it sets the arguments and then we pass all those arguments to the media suite, uh, media suite class and media suite class starts initializing all the memories and it, after initializing it as the process conversion like as we mentioned decoding, encoding and packaging like all those stuff it does and finally we'll clean up the memory. So this is a simple application. So let's quickly go through how the argument parser looks. So this is the argument parser. So what it will take, it will take all the uh, uh, whatever arguments we received from the command line. We just set it here using the set functions and then uh, using the with the help of the parse function, we'll be telling okay whether the enough arguments are passed and then we will be checking these arguments are right or wrong so we will be checking against the arguments which are the correct so those the correct arguments are stored here so if the whatever input arguments are passed are matching to these arguments we'll be telling okay the arguments are correct these arguments list will be grow bigger as we keep on adding more support and features and if any issue is there we'll be help in the sprint help command so which will help us the correct use case so now after passing the arguments and after uh, parsing all the arguments correct or not, we will be just now actually starting going to the media suite class. So in the media suite class, so we have all this init, process, execution, all those things. So in the init, yeah, so for now, for now simplicity, we just uh, uh, checking the metadata here, but as there is a dependency in cleaning up the memory, we just put it everything in the process block. What we will do is aggregate the code into init block and the process block. So the process block is just the same thing. We open up all the input file, output file, resampler and we write output file header and we do the uh, allocate the memory and we put a while loop where we frame by frame we decode and then and finally input into the mp3 format. So all those things are here. So as I mentioned earlier in the block diagram, uh, sorry here there is a translator so this translator class is here mm translator dot cpp so what it will does is just it will take our metadata and it will take our argument map 
and simply so this is the spec it will convert mm type is equal to file conversion function type video product required audio product required and also the output file location so by currently we are uh, whatever the file we are writing i mean the mp3 file that is by default it is into the downloads folder so this is how every big code we divided into modules so so media suit is the process block argument parser and the mm translator are the handling parts so this way we can we can control the parameters coming to the process block in a much more efficient way so we can see the advantage of this uh, modular approach let's say now i have designed this backend code for the ubuntu so now the same code can be integrated into an mfc application without changing much of the code instead of this rgb we just need to pass this uh, in inputs from the gui or the mfc application so we will be seeing that in a minute before before seeing the advantage of the design approach and how it simplifies integrating the application into different platforms let's quickly run this in on the ubuntu first so these are the as i mentioned i am running this application and these are the arguments i am passing if an f1 means conversion and if an is input and the sample file and if an o1 is the mp3 file let's quickly run it you can see here we get the audio spec video spec and then we are done with extraction of the audio and you can go to the downloads folder and you can see this is the file with the current timestamp is generated so now let's see the actual advantage how this design will help us integrating the whole code as these into different platforms so let's see that yeah so this is our mfc application that we have seen last week so now we have uh, modified the ui a bit in order to support this uh, arguments we pass to the our process block so we added a function type like it can be like one is meant for conversion two is for compression like different uh, enums we can use and this is the input file these are which can be given with the help of this button a dialog box appears a file dialog and we can pass that input to here and this is the output type like which format you need like mp3 in our case and finally this is the one which kick starts the process so now as you can see whatever source code we have seen earlier which we used on the ubuntu platform the same source code for the back end i have just copied it here see so this is the media suit library and it's a translator and these are our structures and this is our uh, media suit header so all source code we have copied and now the real magic we can see here so in the main file you have seen we have passed the arguments and then we have called our media suit so similar way here we are passing our arguments but instead of arc v0 arc v01 we are getting these parameters from the ui elements or ui widgets so here uh, we are getting this uh, input file the video we selected from this widget called windows text uh, like in this is the widget name tb input file so this tb the, it, it is set the whatever video we selected the path is set here upon selection the path will be already set here like it will be passed to here and then we are just extracting that path and converting that uh, c string into a c plus plus string and storing in an in input file so similarly we are getting the whatever we entered from the ui we are capturing here for the function type and well as the output type and finally we are passing those arguments in the understandable way to the, our media suit library or the media suit blocks or the classes so now before before passing it to the process block or the this into a new module we need to ensure the arguments are given correctly so of course from you wait most of the times it is correct but we just want to ensure we don't want to pass any other garbage values so we are checking it here and then we finally pass this to here into a map and then we put this in it process and process conversion and starts so let's quickly check what is happening so uh, starting my application here and i am in as i mentioned one is for compression input file i come here i click the button there is a file called sample here 
ground for type 1 is meant for mp3 and convert to m m kick start the process now the process is completed go to the downloads folder and in the downloads folder you can see the sample file is created with the latest timestamp so this way you can see here the real potential of following the modular approach so you don't need to rewrite the code or you, do need, you don't need to rewrite the entire low level classes or, or the way of parameter passing all you just need to pass the arguments properly and the rest of the codes remain same same thing we follow for the uh, rest of the platforms and that will be shown in the upcoming videos so i hope this video is really exciting for you and i would like to thank each and every subscriber and viewer for encouraging us in our journey so far so next video will be will come up with one more exciting video till then keep watching our channel have a good day thank you bye bye